Get that out. Yeah. Song I wrote like a couple years ago. Kind of cool like this, but um, I hope you like it. It's called Dusty Road. Thank you. 
video. Sit down. Well, he, he's got to talk about his you man. Can, yeah, but you can sit. Come on. Let's sit with all Everybody's in the same band. There's space. There's space. Come. Come sit down. One more over. Okay, come over. Take the Okay, let me get that here. Take that, Jason. All right. So, all we're right. going to do a brief experience. Now, uh, you want to say who you all are? You're Tariq. Look. Hey, guys, hope all is well. I'm Tariq. This is my scene. This is Cliff. We are the parts of the brief experience. And we're all playing music and having fun living life and Trying to be good people, you know, trying to make the day better than yesterday. That's all I got to say. That sounds like a good thing. That sounds good. So, um, do you have any gigs coming up? Yeah, actually, we got something going on. Fresh in. Um, where? Tomorrow, gathering. Tomorrow, we're playing from 6 to 8, 128 Rivington, which is a gallery owned by a very good Japanese artist called Kazuko. Nice. And instead of featuring her work, she's been inviting all kind of artists. She has a gallery for now 30 years. Wow. So they, we are That's invited amazing. yeah, to play tomorrow from 6 to 8 in the middle of a show called Come Rain or Come Shine. Oh, well that seems to be what the weather's been lately. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So, yeah. 128 Rivington, 6 to 8 tomorrow. Please come and join us. Wonderful. And um, how do you guys all meet? Well, it's been a long story. You know? <laughs> I mean, I can have a story, but no. I ran into her in Boston Square Park about almost 10 years ago. Eight. And I looked, eight, <laughs> eight. And I looked in her eyes and I said, wow, she got beautiful eyes. And guess what? She put hey. her glasses on right hey. away. Yeah. Take yeah. the shades <laughs> off. Shades off. You gotta see these eyes. You gotta see these eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aww. Uh, that was like, you know, dude, you got, let me see though, we see with a mark. Right. I said, okay, well, I ain't got no problem with marks. You know what I mean? And this, you know, we were walking around the circle, holding the hand, and it all started. And now it's eight, ten years later. Oh, so it got serious. There we go. Oh, oh la la. Bonjour. Bonjour. Well, you are French, right? I'm French. I remember. I'm America since eight years now. Yeah. Oh, that's how you know it's eight. So yeah, you met him right away? One year and a half after I arrived. So he's kind of, you know, blowing a little bit the story. <laughs> yeah! Well, Love that's how can do that. Love can seem longer than it is. And, and what about this character on my left? <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. No, no. <laughs> Dude, I was like a patriot at this song. I uh, used to work at this song with this song in Guadalajara. And I was an everyday patriot. We talked, and never knew that he played fucking bass. He told me he played bass, but it was like, yeah, okay, let's play five dollars. So, next thing you know, I ended up meeting him with this open jam. So, you can go to one of these slides here. Mm -hmm. With that one? Mm -hmm. Is that who this guy is? Yeah. 20, it doesn't no, look like him. It's like a. I'm sorry. Painting. That he made a I met him there, and he played bass. And I was like, no, fuck it. Let's go with bass player. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can use him. Yeah, that's it. And so, that's how I played bass. Yeah, we go to that show. Yeah. So what you're working? Similar, similar. Anyway, twenty years ago, a yeah, senior center, strangely enough, playing for these seniors, he walks in, I go, oh shit, I know. <laughs> and the next thing he starts playing, I'm like, oh, that's great. And then he comes over to me later and goes, hey man, gotta come out to Hoboken. And I did, and that's how that. That's about a year ago. Wow. So that is the Reek experience, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, so we have the fantastic guitar player called Ben. He will be there tomorrow. And we have a drummer and harmonica player called Mark. That's wonderful. Is there a website? Uh, we have a YouTube channel called Rick Experience where you can see our film video. Okay. And, and Facebook? You're all on Facebook? So how do they find you? Oh, it is? The Reek Experience dot com? Okay. There you go. So, I love websites. Yeah, well, well you hate what how do you hate websites? How do you hate it? Websites are amazing. They're amazing, but I'm like lazy. Yeah, you have to update. Websites are incredible. Yeah. You know what I like? I like dealing with people. That's 
so I'm saying. Like, shaking hands, talking to people, looking in their face and saying, how do you do, and all that. You know, I know, I'm not expert at this. You, you don't yeah, want to do that digitally? Yeah, except the fact is, this is a web show, and well, we are on the internet. Oh, you know, no, 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 <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like to shake hands, I like to talk. Absolutely. To you know, I like to communicate. I agree. But we do that here. Yeah. And then we, and then yeah, we show yeah, the world yeah. how fun it is. And guess what? You can have fun there and you can put it out there. Exactly. So it is National Corn Fritter Day, and uh, the best thing I can do is get these caramel corn fritters. Do you guys have any skeletons in your closet you'd like to share again? I know you were on the show in Brooklyn. And you shared some. Do you have any new skeletons? Any danger? Good, any yeah. trouble? Good, you, good Cliff, you got a good skeleton for me? Yeah. What did you do in the senior center? Did you ever go yeah. into anybody's room? No, no, no. They don't live there. They just visit there during the day. It's nice and nice. It's like an outpatient? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's a daytime thing. They're there until 5 or 6 if it's over 90 degrees. Then they keep it open. It's a cool center. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So, um, when you were in, like, high school, did you ever cut class? Oh, of course. But my, I, I have one just after high school. got busted for hitchhiking twice. So. Wait, you got busted for hitchhiking? Who picked you up? A cop? State troops. <laughs> yeah, where was this? What state? Upstate New York. Upstate yeah. New York. With the hats? They had those scary hats and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What kind of hat were you wearing? My, my, <laughs> the biggest. Long hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, they took you to jail? One time and collected bail, another time handed me a ticket and left me at the end of the doorway as if I could do anything but hitchhike out. <laughs> so, <laughs> what else? Oh, that's hilarious. Good for you. Good for you. Hitchhiking, I don't know. Do you think it was safer back then? Yeah, I've done it all through the years. I never bothered the differences. Really? You still hitchhike? A little bit, a little bit. The state troopers actually quite often were just checking to see that I was old enough, that I wasn't a runaway. And then they just let me out. Of so they don't care if you're a rapist, but they don't they don't want you to be a runaway. <laughs> they don't they don't know. They don't know. Just as long as you're legally sure you're over and like your family like you know. Otherwise they were they usually had no problem. Sometimes you got these problems. Were you ever afraid in a car you went into? Yeah, occasionally. But usually I don't. Okay. Tell me about the the occasional time. I gotta hear about this. You got picked up, you were nervous, what happened? Well this guy kinda of Describe describe friendly. I gotta hear this. Shit. Friendly as in like the ice cream store, or as in Pogo the clown. Like hand on knee, and then I said, "Well, I think, yeah. I'm, I think I've taken a long enough ride. It's time to drop me off." He's like, oh, "Okay, I guess that's the answer to that one." And he didn't unlock. He unlocked well, it. Yeah, I, I got out of there. Good for you. So. All right, what about you two over here, the lovebirds? Me? <laughs> yeah, not. I tell you what, crazy shit. <laughs> Take it out. I'm like, look at this boy. I know you probably offered you a couple of dollars. You know? <laughs> but I'm like, what? Well, you know, it's like, you know, what kind of trouble were you in like? Oh, lady, you know what I've been mean, into? You're becoming an angel. I am a fucking angel. I'm the best fucking angel you ever want to see. I don't do drugs. Anymore. Hey, right. right. So, so do we clap for that? Two. Two. Yeah. Well, that's been that's been like that's been like fucking what? What you've been you've been straight for thirty years? No. Wait, you did drugs for thirty years and then you stopped? No, no I didn't. I didn't do drugs for thirty years. That's what I'm saying. So wait, but no, you were talking about bad. <laughs> what what is a good drug? That ass in my pot, 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 pot. That's a good drug. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that you do. What are the other good drugs? What are the other good drugs? This is a list. Drugs. A list. All right. They say caffeine. I, I have a name for that. I say caffeine. Say caffeine. caffeine. I don't you say I caffeine, caffeine, and I say caffeine. I don't fucking do caffeine. It be what open your mind and makes you happy. And okay. why it destructive is not true. See, why it constructive. That sounds like that somebody's high on acid. And, 
I like them. Your image is crazy. So, wait, were you one of those guys in Washington Square Park like 10 years ago that... Um, Dude, I was in the fucking park. Dude. Smoke, 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 smoke. Yeah. Were you one yeah. of those guys? 79. I don't know those guys. Cause I just can't have been.